God wants to use your life for His glory. As a Spirit-filled believer, you carry the potential to become a vessel for God's purposes. So what's the key to being used by God? To answer that, I want to take a look at the story of how Jesus miraculously fed the multitude. In John chapter 6, beginning at verse 5, the Bible says, Jesus soon saw a huge crowd of people coming to look for Him. Turning to Philip, He asked, Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? Verse 6, He was testing Philip, for He already knew what He was going to do. Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. So there was a need. By all natural standards, the situation seemed impossible to overcome. The crowd was too big and the supply seemed inadequate. But then something became available. In verse 8, the Bible says, Then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Tell everyone to sit down, Jesus said. So they all sat down on the grassy slopes. The men alone numbered about 5,000. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and distributed them to the people. Afterwards, he did the same thing with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. A little boy offered to the Lord his food supply, five loaves of bread, two fish. Concerning the boy's offering, Andrew asked a fair question. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus, seeming to ignore Andrew's doubt-filled question, answered confidently, tell everyone to sit down. Tell everyone to sit down? Jesus didn't even address the doubt behind Andrew's question. He simply responded with action, with demonstration. Now, the Bible tells us that there were more than 5,000 people present. The men alone numbered 5,000. So let's be conservative and assign one child and one woman to each man. At the least, 15,000 people were present and in need of food. A big need, a seemingly small supply. But the need was met and the crowd was fed. But the boy offered what he had to Jesus, his five loaves of bread and two fish. Here's what Luke's gospel records Jesus doing with the bread. Luke chapter 9, verse 16, Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up toward heaven and blessed them. Then breaking the loaves into pieces, he kept giving the bread and fish to the disciples so they could distribute it to the people. So what can we learn from this most remarkable story? The boy's meal was not enough to meet the need. The boy's meal needed to be surrendered to Jesus before it could be distributed. Jesus broke the bread before he multiplied it. In the boy's hands, the food was not enough. In our hands, our lives are not enough to meet the needs of the world's masses. But in the hands of Jesus, our nothing becomes everything. Brokenness precedes usefulness. Surrender precedes the miraculous. There is no limit to what God can do with a life surrendered to the Holy Spirit. Put your life in God's hands. Surrender. Let Him break you, mold you, create anew. Tell Him, God, if you can use nothing, here I am. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free content like this, sign up to my emailing list, and you'll receive an email from me every single week with brand new messages from the Word of God. Just go to davidhernandezministries.com slash email to sign up right now. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.